in there, Valentine. Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I, I, I gotta slow this over fast. in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way, risk life and limb? An old private eye. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. 
but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Malone's crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players, until they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. Seer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of Overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. What? We just started! Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. This is Vault Tech interview number 87 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name Sukin Harry. That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government branch on me. No, sir. Fascinating. Mr. Um, Soup Can, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Gum up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I see the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir? You may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. This is Vault Tech Interview number 03 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as Overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council. 
that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out.
Hard and loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Too bad for whoever cleans up the floors. Doors on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other Can't side. Can't pick this. Up. I got the fidgets. What was that? Nothing after all. Hmm. Hide and seek. Use 
it a stealth boy or something? Won't work. Hey. Hey. Shouldn't hide. Ain't very courageous of you. Wait there. So it was nothing after all. Stairs? Who built this damn vault? A fitness instructor? Anybody now? Won't be able to pick this.
Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out? Wait, Skinny. Remember the quarry? Lily June on the rocks? Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Okay, you two can go. You got until the count of ten. Then I don't care what happened back in the old days. You're dead. What are you doing, Skinny? Kill him! No, Dala. They get one chance to leave. Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You mobsters are all just talk. We better get out of here, fast. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Look at that Commonwealth sky. 
I never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. One day, Sanctuary will be a vibrant community. I've seen it. Hey. Come back for the site? I need Med X this time. Another cam, another window to look through. Why Med X? It's what the site wants. Med X is a painkiller. Strips away a lot of feeling and lets you float out in. Really? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, it just makes everything feel good, don't it? I'm starting to see clearly. You're walking into a sea, but it's not water you're afraid of drowning in. It's something invisible, but radiant. It burns everything in it. But, no, I can feel them. There's people calling out to something, chanting. They can show you the way, but they're so hard to read. Be careful around them, kid. I can't. I almost thought I couldn't breathe there. Ugh. Heart's beating like no tomorrow. Gonna need to rest.